Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Hey, do you know how to get to the the Hong Hong Hua Hong Hong Hua Hong Hua Hotel? Oh, I see. Someone's looking for some action, huh? Quigan <laughs> District. Just walk over there. You know, there's an amazing view of the cityscape on the rooftop. It's just underneath the hangar. If you're nice enough, maybe I'll take you there. You know, I'm afraid of heights and. I'm not really sure how I feel about this whole city on top of the city thing. Come on, the island's only so big, and you said it yourself. It's a center of free corporate expression in China. If you want to keep it that way, you have to build up. But at what cost? It's taken 12 years to build the country so far, and it can be another 10 years. Hey, I'll help you out of the way. What are you looking for, Lao Wei? Guns?
think bringing in Bell Tower to police the city is a great thing for Shanghai. I'm sure some of those corrupt officials of the town have tried to see how to do it. You know, it's either them or it's us. Bell Tower's got the full apartment complex locked down. I need to get something Nobody in my apartment. I don't care what kind of operation is going on. Bell Tower is conducting an investigation in this building, sir. No admittance. Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Heng Court Gardens is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengshaw, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Someone there? If anyone's here, come out now. I think you're seeing things. I knew someone was here.
Get word to Pritchard, Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. Jensen, figured you might want a heads up before you stroll into the hive. The owner's name is Tong Si Hung, Tong being his last name. Rumor is, he's tied to the triads. China's organized crime lords. How wonderful. Anyone else want a piece of this pie? Nobody less never pays to get into the hive. Well, you know, it's a leader. Yeah, there's a place to go around here. Yes, many 
business people from Upper Hangsha go there. Where are you traveling? The Hive is a member's only club, Lao Wai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. You're telling me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? Here, take it. Thank you, sir. Here is your membership card. Welcome to the Hive. I'm sure you will enjoy our establishment. You got a favorite poison? I'm looking for Tong. Everyone wants to talk to Tong. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guaido. Mr. Tong Zi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What do you do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already. Because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backward, boy. You're wasting my time. 
Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. Are you done? You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tom's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You smarter than you look. Yeah. Tom is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Van Bruggen is more than just a hacker, you know. He trained in counterintelligence. He's got forged identities, secure bank accounts, and safe houses all over the world. He's already off this island, and I guarantee you'll never find him. Being an outsider here gives me the advantage. I got backup and support that nobody else knows about, plus some resources of my own. Your boss can gain from all this, but only if you let me see him. We don't need anything from you, Xiao Bie san I can't believe you fell for that. Van Bruggen's no spook. He had to run to us for help. We took pity on him and found him someplace safe to hide. Look, I shouldn't be telling you this, but if it gets rid of you, it's worth it. Tong only need Van Bruggen for a month to do a very specific job. After that, he get killed. But if you leave now and come back in 30 days, I make sure you see the Dutchman before he dies. You say anything to get rid of me, won't you? There's no way Tom can hold on to Van Bruggen for long. Not with the kind of resources his enemies are throwing into the search. He'll be dead within a week, and Tong with him. Unless somebody, namely me, takes the heat off, and soon. I wonder if you would say that if you knew the kind of heat the Dragon Queen gives off. But I won't refuse a gift horse when it's staring me in my mouth. Tong's office is downstairs. I'll radio the others to let you through. You see this? Panda screw it up in the fourth. I'm just flushing my money down the pot. Your tongue? Hey, you only work that out now. 
Guess you're not as sharp as you think. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You're still in business. Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods. Capsule 301 places a rat hole. Useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pod. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you, I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. 
Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Malik, don't take this the wrong way, but I need some kind of incentive to justify any complications that might arise. I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poisoned, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengsha Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen.
To the Panchea Project, the cooperative global initiative that aims at healing our world. Earth's ecosphere is in serious trouble at last, and it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of iron sea and geothermal energy. Forgive me, Mr. Darrow, but many people believe that your Arctic Ocean is So the guy in Capsule 143 left his pod door open. No way. Yeah, so I couldn't help but sneak a look inside. And, and? He has so much stuff lying around. It's incredible. I could have snatched an evil or two. What a hell back. Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this, you tell me what you know. Damn, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Sarah's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Saref was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Let me guess. You're gonna tell me where to get one. Hey, I'm always prepared. There's a certain security guard likes to dabble with the ladies. 
You'll find him at the Hong Hua Hotel, top floor, corner room. Sneak in, snatch the card while he's otherwise engaged, and bring it back here so I can code it with the biometrics in your passport. I was there when you flatlined that mole, Van Bruggen. You think I'm gonna trust you? You have to if you want that evidence. Now run along, Sarif man, and don't get too distracted watching the action. I can't encode what I don't have, Serif man. Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. When will we be able to see the truth for ourselves? As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my excuse, thank you. 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 Sorry, but for the service you want, you damn well better believe I'm getting my full amount of credits. Sweet pea, I can hardly make my rent this month. Join the club, sweet pea. Upstairs, if I were you. Why not? Wait, don't tell me. Me and Edgar going at it again? Yep. And you know what that means. Yeah. Edgar in a bad mood. Shame, too, because he can be sweet when he wants to. I'm always amazed by what May gets away with. Well, she's earned the right to talk back from time to time. Thank you very much. Oh, you're so good. I love you. The augmented girls here are popular. But once in a while, I like to try it naturally. Some guys say they can't tell the difference, but I can.
Tell me I left my purse in there with May. I told you, I am not getting arguments. Not for, for this. Oh, May, you have a customer. Get to work. Forcing some of the girls to get augmented. Sometimes I talk so much to forget who I do what. Jensen, you got any news yet? You know I hate being left in the dark. Yeah, I found Van Bruggen. Looks like the Tai Young Medical Corporation hired him and the Mercs to destabilize us. TYM? They already have the lion's share of the global augmentation market. Why use Van Bruggen? In order to get that share. Hopefully I'll be able to prove it once I get this smart card back to Van Bruggen. You need backup, let me know. Humanity is supposed to correct itself, and I so believe that's true. You have to have faith that people sort of unify its conscience knows when something's bad for us. So if this technology is really going to destroy us, we stop and check ourselves before it's too late. Then we correct it, you know? Yeah, so what do I owe you this time? Like the only place to work around here is TYM. I don't. Ecosphere is in serious trouble at us. And it's time to step up to make things better. Our best part is to Through a combination of iron seeding and geothermal. Forgive me, Mr. Green. But many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. When will we be able to see the truth for ourselves? As soon as the installation. With you, Darrow, log on to www. You actually came back. 
My faith in human nature is restored. Save it. Here's the smart card and my passport. Now start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pangle. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Tie your medical man! They're here! Banner! I want that hacker dead! You gotta help me, Jason. They're gonna kill me! And that concerns me how? I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. All right, fine. Take this and get out of here. Oh, thanks, man. I won't forget this.
Get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Tai Young shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out.